Welcome back to your fantasy football buddies. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellison. We got week three coming up of the NFL. Yeah, we're going to bring you up to date with all the injury updates. And there's a lot. And we have our stardoms and and sit-ums. We tried to come up with a more clever name and we decided, you know what? This works. This is kind of universal. Likey, no likey. Likey. uh, Good for you. Bad for you. You know, it's just stardom and sit-ums. Let's just call it what it is. All right. Let's get rolling. We got injuries, dude. Injuries. All right, we're going to blow through these, so pay close attention. They should know, if we don't mention your guy, he is most likely going to play. Seriously, that's how many injuries we got. If we don't talk about your guy, it's going to be okay. Buffalo Bills wide receiver Stevie Johnson. He is expected to play. Uh, It's too big of a game for him to miss. He has a groin injury, but he should be okay. Steven, I suspect if this were any less of a game, I suspect he probably does sit out this week. So be cautious on that play. All right, if you have tight end Aaron Hernandez of the New England Patriots, he has a sprained MCL and could sit out as many as four weeks. He is definitely not playing this week. Yeah, bad play there. Unfortunate for New England because they could use him this week. Cincinnati wide receiver Jordan Shipley has an ACL blowout. Goes on IR, Steven. Ouch. Out for the year. Uh, look, if you need a wide receiver, Andre Caldwell should fill in there for, well, the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> if, he, Jerome if you're starting Simpson. Bengals, you're really desperate. Yeah, it's trouble. Uh, the Houston Texans why, uh, running back Arian Foster, uh, he's day-to-day with his hamstring, but I'm pretty certain he doesn't play in week three. Yeah, which just means a lot more Ben Tate and a lot more Steve Slayton. But Slayton's nursing an injury as well, so I'm rolling with Tate. I'm rolling with Tate, too. Uh, Tennessee Titan running back Chris Johnson and wide receiver Kenny Kenny Britt. They're both expected to play. Uh, They're listed as day-to-day, Jeff, but they should be out on that field. You know what? And they need to be out on that field. Denver wide Earn receiver. Earn your money, CJ. Seriously, CJ, Y2K, what, what WTF? Yeah. <laughs> Denver wide receiver Eddie Royal has a groin strain out two to four weeks. Yeah, he fell out on his own. He just fell on his own running around. Worst kind of injuries, guys. When no one touches you and you go down, you're either a New York Giant or you're actually hurt. Dallas Cowboys are ship all banged up. Tony Romo with the ribs and the lung. He's most likely going to get the start. Watch it. He's a game time decision. He has a very special vest that's been made for him, and it's supposed to help a lot. Felix Jones uh, is expected to play with a with a shoulder injury, but as you'll learn later, we've got him in the sit him. And Miles Stephen, his Austin's shoulder was actually separated yes, from separated. his body. Uh, Miles Austin with the hamstring injury, he is out this week. He'll most likely be out next week. Then they have the bye. Then he'll most likely be back for week six. Okay, finally in the New York Giants, Hakeem Nix. As if this team needs more injuries, Hakeem Nix wrist and knee is expected to start this weekend. But Mario Manningham, who suffered a concussion, uh, a neck injury, he's day to day. He'll most likely start, but he's another one of our sit-ems. And then we go into the rest of the NFC East with Philadelphia quarterback Michael Vick with his concussion. He's listed as day-to-day. But he did practice today, so, Jeffrey, he's most likely going to get the start. And he practiced with his helmet on, so that's a very good sign Wide receiver Marcus Colson of the New Orleans Saints, he's still out uh, with his collarbone issue. Another three weeks before he gets back onto the field. Too bad for him. Um, St. Louis running back Steven Jackson has a quad injury that remains, and he is... I don't like him when he's on the field, frankly, and he needs to get better, well, and he's questionable. And the Rams are banged up. Cadillac Williams has a hamstring. He's questionable. And Danny Amendola with his elbow. He's questionable as well. Uh, watch those guys if you plan on playing them. Absolutely. And finally, San Francisco wide receiver Braylon Edwards. Stop me if you've ever heard this one. Braylon Edwards is expected to possibly miss this week and yeah. next week and the week after yeah, that. About three weeks out with his knee injury. Now, time for stardoms and sit uh in the stardom for quarterbacks, Jeffrey. I like Matt Stafford. Look, at this point, uh, he's he is an everyday start now. Look, Matt I, Stafford is elevated to that level. Start him against the Vikings is going to tear him up. He's elevated to a top five quarterback, and we've suspected this if he could stay healthy enough. Ryan Fitzpatrick, we love this week against New England. It is going to be a scoreboard explosion. Yeah. Plus, the Patriots have given up uh, 382 passing yards per week. They're 31st against the pass. Ryan Fitzpatrick should uh, like be there. Ben Tate running back, uh, as Jeffrey and I said, He is the guy for the Houston Texans. He's going to see a lot of carries now that Aaron Foster is out. Running back department, Ahmad Bradshaw starting against the Eagles this week. We like that one a lot. Eagles Uh, allowing a lot of yards. 146 yards per game on the ground. They are gashing. 
Wide receiver A.J. Green of the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, he's going up against the San Francisco 49ers. Look, if it wasn't for Cam Newton, this guy would be considered as an early candidate for Rookie of the Year. He already has two touchdowns in two weeks of action and over 150 yards uh, receiving. We like him uh, to put up some points against the Something Niners. Something you don't hear from us too often. We like Nate Burleson this week. <laughs> now, Steven, possibly you could explain the insanity here. Nate Burleson is going up against the Minnesota Vikings. Ah. He loves to stick it to his former teams. In his last two starts against the Minnesota Vikings, he scored double-digit points both times. I expect he does it again this week. Apparently, that's what it takes to motivate him because we haven't been able to figure No coach has been able to figure out. Finally, on the sit side of things, we don't like Sam Bradford this week at all against the Ravens. Anybody playing the Ravens is a dicey start. Yeah, quarterback Chad Henney goes up against the Browns. Last season against the Browns, he was ineffective in Miami. Now he's on the road, and Cleveland is number two against the pass right now. Felix Jones coming off that separated shoulder is a sit this week against the Redskins. Don't touch him. Yeah, Look, they have a tough run defense, eighth overall against the run. Felix Jones is not going to be hitting the hole hard. No, he he is going to see less carries, and, and yeah. De, DeMarco Murray and uh, Tashar Choice are going to get the ball there. Uh, Mark Ingram, running back for the New Orleans Saints. Look, I like this kid, and he's going to be a future star in this league, but right now he's not getting enough touches. I say keep him on your bench until the Saints decide to make him a featured back. And wide receiver Mario Manningham, again, Giants ship all banged up department, uh, suffered a concussion. And last week, and even if he's on the field, it's going to be a little touch and go as to whether how many carries he gets, how many touches he how gets, many targets, how yeah. many snaps he sees. Um, uh, finally, wide receiver Denaris Moore, the rookie there for the Oakland Raiders. He had a breakout week last week, but this week he faces the Jets. Ain't going to happen. <laughs> the Jets secondary is just too good. J-E-T-S. They're going to limit his targets. Jets. And uh, we say you leave him on your bench. Jeff, Absolutely. That's all the time we've got. For more information, come out to our website, www.nflrnr.com. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Fellas. Good luck this week. fantasy football buddies. Go get them.